carpeted LS, behind a big block, small block, just any kind of non-computer controlled engine. Um, for LADE is an electronically controlled engine. It did not come with a mechanical, like a TV cable or a modulator valve or any of that stuff to run it um, from the factory. It was just computer controlled. Um, it has uh, two speed sensors, one input, one output, and it has the connector for um, that goes to the computer. Um, what I did was I used something like this. Um, I made this and I made the one that's in my blazer. I found some, uh, I found some, uh, it was a diagram on a, on a forum. I don't remember the forum. I will find the forum and I will put it in the link of the video description. But essentially, you take this, uh, you have to wire a couple wires together, and you put them to power, which would be the pink wire, and then you connect the black wire to a switched ground, meaning it doesn't complete the circuit unless you flip the switch. And this would be for the lockup converter. Um, so you'd be cruising on the highway or, or whatever, you hit the switch, it would ground this, and it would lock up your converter. It would help you get a little bit, get a better fuel mileage. This you just hook it up to a fused and uh, keyed or switched power so you can power up the transmission. Um, the power goes to the transmission and the transmission grounds through the case and everything connected to the engine um, to the to the battery and everything that way. Um, the only downfall that I have found is uh, the only downfall that I have found is it does have full line pressure because the line pressure is controlled from a solenoid. Um, Transgo does make a kit that you can install in there that makes it like vacuum modulated so you don't have full line pressure. Because essentially what happens is you have full line pressure to the transmission, meaning the highest pressure that pump can put out, it puts out and it puts it to everything. Um, so your your shifts are super hard. They're, they're in this transmission right here that was in my blazer. The shifts were, were violent. First and second was a violent shift. Um, and then I've heard it can burn up the pump doing that. I've also heard it can like push uh, push fluid out of seals and all that stuff. I haven't really seen that yet. Um, I've been running the transmission that's in the blazer on the street i've had thousands and thousands of miles i towed with it from florida to kentucky and back numerous times at least like five six times um and i haven't had an issue um transmission still works great it still shifts good i don't have any leaks out of anything the pump is still working um it still shifts just as hard as it did when i first put it in there with with this controller uh, not controller wired up you can buy this for like twenty dollars off of Amazon and then you can wire it up yourself um, then you hook it up and then you have uh, you essentially have full manual control of a 4 lady e um, you do have to shift it manually um, when you put it in drive it'll be in fourth gear and then third second first so you know you shift it to first uh, you drive and you shift it to you know third or fourth and then when you stop you have to shift it back down to first um, but it, it, it works pretty good I've had no issues out of it um, this one this one just shifted so hard I swapped it out for the one that's in there um, this this one doesn't have a whole lot of miles on it it's still a super good transmission um, I would like to get the transdapt uh, the transgo uh, kit to control line pressure just so the shifts aren't so violent um, but yeah, this was, this was super cheap, um, way that I can control the transmission. Um, I think the controllers, they may even be more now. They're like $700. Um, so for like 30 bucks and a little bit of, uh, a little bit of work, you can do this yourself and then you can put that pretty much behind anything without having to have it electronically controlled.